Hey guys, it's BrickDude5000, and today I got the ECX uh, RC Metal Gear set, and I'll be showing you how to install that into your ECX truck. Now, my diff was acting up anyways, so I decided, hey, why not? I should probably be running them anyways, because I have a brushless system. So, uh, they feel kind of heavy uh, right out, but... They seem to be doing their job, uh, just looking at them. So I've removed all of the screws so you don't have to watch me do that. Um, and I just have them in this coffee strainer right here, and I'll explain that more later. But just for those of you who need uh, reminding, I'll show you where they are. There are two under that body post right there. Uh, and those go right into the gear case and then I'll move the I'll move the camera up just a bit so you can see these there are four that go under the chassis and into the gear case and bumper and then there's one on that little thing holding the bumper on you can see that right there okay so as you can see, I've removed the rear bumper. In this case, it's a wheelie bar. You can just set that aside because we won't be needing that. And you can pull the gear cover out. Okay, so here I've just pulled the gear cover out and you can scoot everything else aside. Okay, so here's the gear cover right here. Um, and we can start getting into this thing by removing the drive shaft. So you're going to want to take your hex uh, driver or allen wrench or whatever you want to call it and you'll see right here there's a little set screw if you just start unscrewing that then uh, you'll be good and that'll pop right off of the differential okay now that we have both of those off of there we can actually start to get into the gear case. So what you'll notice when uh, looking at the gear case is there are three screws. You're going to want to remove those and I'll speed this up here so you don't have to watch. Okay so once you have those removed just make sure to set them aside. Okay uh, then now that you have uh, uh, those removed uh, just pop the gear cover off and be careful though because it might get a little messy okay now that you have that out you can see all three of your gears under there and you have two gear cases okay so here's where the coffee strainer comes handy I learned this tip uh, from a video I'll post it in the I'll put a link in the description if I can remember what it's called but you'll just want to take uh, out all of these gears so just make sure while you're doing this you have some lithium grease or silicon grease handy lithium grease is what I have so I'll just be using that okay so uh, you're just to remove the bearing from the differential you're just gonna kind of work want to work at it slowly with a flathead screwdriver just trying to pry it up from underneath uh, just be careful so you don't damage it now that you have those off, to remove these ones, you'll just want to push at the far bearing, and once that comes off, uh, just gently push at uh, the ones still remaining. Make sure to be very careful when doing this, though, as you may damage your bearings if you aren't. Okay, now that we have that aside, you can start to remove your spur gear so we can get to that last little gear in there okay now that you have your spur gear out you can take this you can remove this gear and just make sure you keep track of all your parts so you don't lose them just slide that off and now we can get into our middle gear set and here's where the coffee strainer comes in I've heard from a video, and I'll again I'll post it in the description if I can find it. Just clean it out with that. Okay, so uh, 
take your metal gear set uh, and we can start putting those in. What I notice is that these gears are really heavy compared to the stock gears so you might want to gear down a bit just in case. Okay, now that we have those out, you can start installing the gears. Take this guy and just slide it right on uh, there and put a bearing on the back of it. And okay, and right here I fast forwarded a, a bit because I forgot to do this step. Uh, so you'll, you're just going to want to double check to make sure you get everything. You're going to put a bearing on the other side of it and then slide on that bushing or whatever you want to call it as well and then finally you can put that in the transmission okay we're back to regular time now uh, with your idler gear you're going to want to just pop your bearings in there and one thing I notice is they come out really easily uh, so you might just want to be a little careful about that, but they should stay in there. Okay, now you're going to want to take this little pin and insert it into your uh, idler gear. And uh, this will hopefully help the bearings stay on a bit better. Okay, so now you're going to take your differential gear and put some bearings on it like that. Uh, just take those big bearings and just kind of push them on there. I noticed this one was a little too tight, a little more tight than the stock gears, but just put a bit of force into it and it and it'll uh, get on there. One thing I use sometimes is just take part of a flathead screwdriver and just try and push down on the bearing and that can be a little helpful but just make sure it's on there uh, well enough that you're not pushing the gear cases to one side or another and you can insert it in there okay so now uh, you can take your lithium grease and uh, just put just put a bit on the uh, differential uh, just to kind of get a bit of stuff in there just rub it around with your finger and now that you have that you can slide your differential in there remember the bearings I forgot that the first time uh, so I had to go back in there and do it so just double check everything with the instruction manual before you put it back together in my case I'm gonna have to add a bit more uh, lithium grease to that uh, before I put it back in. So just make sure, spin it to get everything around there. And once you have that, you can put your other gear cover back on. And so now that you have that on, you're just going to want to line it, line everything up in there and push it together and it'll just snap on and then you can put your screws in there and just insert those three screws that you removed uh, then now that you're done with that you're gonna wanna line up your drive shaft with the uh, thing on your um, transmission and put your little set screw in there and just tighten that down nice and good now you can finally install your spur gear again and now that you have this uh, all together just line up your drive shafts with the one on with the ones on your car and you can just pull up on that whole body mount uh, setup and slide uh, it under there uh, it will take a bit of work but it's better than having to lift the whole setup uh, off. Okay, now that I have it, that installed, you can just insert the screws that you took out. So, anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, rate, 
well, like, comment, subscribe, and see you next time.